Shimano have released a massive update for their EP801 motor, and it brings it right up to the levels of the Bosch race motor. And there's three parts to it, and it's available from today. First off, it's got a more powerful boost mode, and it's more aggressive in the power delivery. Second, it's got a customizable cutoff mode. And finally, and I think by far the best, it's now got overrun. We've been asking for this for ages from Shimano. There's three different levels of overrun. Over the past couple of years, Shimano bikes have had a little bit of a bad reputation in terms of the performance compared to something like the Bosch motor. And this update is gonna hopefully eradicate that and get the Shimano EP801 to a really high level. Now, over the past year, Shimano have spent a lot of time on the racing circuit, refining the motor. And there's been some engineers from Japan on the track side, on some of the EDR courses, working with some of the athletes to try and get the EP801 motor to the same level of performance as the Bosch motor. And right now, it looks like this could be a thing that they've achieved. So three things to the update. First off, there is a more aggressive boost mode. So the boost mode now has a more intense startup speed. So as soon as you start putting pedal input, it's gonna give you up to 400% of assistance right away. And that means that it's gonna give you the quickest acceleration from a standstill or coming out of a corner and putting the power down, it's gonna give you the most aggressive ramp up of that power. So before, you had to put through a little bit of a crank turn, maybe a quarter of a crank turn or slightly less, to get the full amount of power from the motor. The other thing the Shimano motor's always been good at is there's virtually no lag on the crank. So some of the other motors, they've got like ratchet points and you've got a bit of float between it. So paired with the more aggressive startup and the no kind of pedal lag, as soon as I'm putting that crank down, it's engaging very, very quickly. This should be a really strong update. Second of all, it's got a refined cutoff when you get to the edge of the speed limit. So what that means is when you get to like the maximum speed, 25 kilometers an hour, you can have it ramp down slowly and ease off the power, or you can get it to just cut off immediately or you can fine tune it somewhere in between. So instead of it just cutting off like straight away and it feeling like it's putting on the anchors and just slowing down completely, you can smoothly decelerate as you reach that cutoff speed. But for anyone that's racing, we'll probably want it to get it to the maximum speed as quickly as possible and then have that abrupt cutoff because you're not easing it down. You're not slowing down as you hit that cutoff speed. It's getting to as fast as is legally allowed in racing and then, then it's gonna cut off. So that's interesting, but the biggest thing is it's finally now got motor overrun. And this was a massive thing for lots of people, not just racers, but anyone that's ridden the Bosch motor with the overrun, it makes a massive difference to the ride experience. Now Shimano don't call it overrun, they call it extended assist carryover, which is essentially the same thing. They've just called it something different. So essentially what this does is when you stop pedaling, the motor still gives input for a little bit of time after you've stopped pedaling. The current EP801 stops almost immediately as you stop pedaling, but the new update will give a certain amount of overrun that's customizable with three levels, like low, medium, and high. Now, this is massive because the biggest thing with the Shimano EP801 I felt is when you stop pedaling, it just comes to a halt almost immediately. It's actually, I found quite dangerous. I crashed the other day on an EP801 motor because I got to a route section and I forgot that it didn't have overrun and it just stopped and I went over backwards like a sack of potatoes and fell off and scraped my arm on a tree. With the Bosch, that would have gotten me over. And with the new update, that will get me up those kind of sections. And this makes a massive difference. So when you stop pedaling, the bike continues to propel forwards without any pedal input. And it will continue going for up to two meters, which is the most you're allowed to get. That's the most like legal amount in terms of it not being classed as like an automatic moped. And that is massive. And in a race format, it's made a massive difference. These three features, the quicker, get into 400% boost, the motor overrun, and the uh, cutoff right to the very, very edge of the limit has, has made a really big difference to the point now where Shimano motors have started winning in the EDR, in the, in the power stages, which they weren't getting anywhere close to it. And the great thing is that this is available for everybody that has an EP801 motor. It's not a new motor. They could have been 
quite um, not sneaky, but they could have just limited it to a new race edition motor. But it's great that everybody can get this update. Now with the motor overrun, sometimes you don't want it to give you the full overrun all of the time. And they've put a feature on, on this new update that I think is really good. So if you back pedal, it will cancel out the overrun. So as you're approaching a rock garden, or a corner or something, there's times where you don't want it to give you that maximum amount of overrun because it might propel you into a, into a corner. And you can actually backpedal on this to cancel the overrun. So I think that is a really neat feature. So these three new features, the quicker boost, the maximum cutoff speed, and the overrun are really significant updates to this Shimano EP801 motor. Now for anyone that's running auto shift, Shimano have updated that as well. The algorithm now calculates like speed ups and speed downs much, much quicker. So as you're coasting down and you're coming into a corner and you want it to shift down quicker, it, it will do that. But you can also override it as well. So as you click through the gears, it will override and cancel out the auto shift. So it's like you can have the best of both worlds. So you can have auto shift on for some of the easier sections, but when you really want it in a race format or you want it when you're charging down some trails, you can override it. So overall, this is a really significant update from Shimano. And honestly, I think it's great that you don't have to buy an entire new system. It is a software update. It's a free update. You have to go to your dealer though, because it is a big update. It has to be done at a dealer. But as far as I'm aware, there's no charge for this update. It's not like you need to buy any new hardware or it's not a chargeable software download, which is amazing. Well done Shimano for getting this release out and basically bringing more life and more features to this EP801 motor. And that's what I love about e-bikes. They can be updated, like they get better over time. These firmware updates make your bike just behave in a different way. And I love that about this tech, like all the bikes, even the Bosch, when they released that, that started off at 75, they took it to 85, then they introduced the overrun and all of those updates were free. So it's great to see that Shimano are doing this. I think this brings Shimano right up to that kind of standard that everybody's looking for. And with that 400% assist, the extra features definitely bring Shimano into like a choice that many people should be looking at for their next e-bike. I will be testing this really soon. I'll bring you uh, how it actually compares to the Bosch in a side-by-side -side kind of shootout. So subscribe if you want to be the first to see that. And until then, I'll catch you soon.